Well, thank you very much, Vice-Chancellor and fellow graduates. Um, it's very warm in here, isn't it? So I'll make it kind of brief. Um, it's a huge honour for me to, uh, to be bestowed the uh, honorary doctorate um, by the university. Um, 30 years ago, and I'm not going to go um, year by year, so don't panic. Um, I left school when I was 15, um, Battley Grammar School, as, uh, as John said, and I attended Huddersfield College for a, a couple of years. I then went on to Bradford University and did a mechanical engineering degree. And uh, what I used to do uh, along the way was uh, come over here to what was then Huddersfield Poly. And it was uh, nothing like it is today. It's a, a fantastic facility now and uh, it's changed tremendously. But when I came over here, there were two places I used to visit. One was the College Arms and the other one was the Students' Union. And um, it didn't really help my sobriety very much that uh, my, my best friend at the time, who's now my brother-in-law, lived next door to the College Arms just across the way. So, um, I, at that point, I, I never felt that in a million years I'd be stood at this side of the lectern receiving a, an honorary doctorate, uh, nor would I think the Vice-Chancellor have even thought of giving me one. Uh, my business brings me uh, more and more into contact with universities, and particularly Huddersfield. In today's tough financial climate, it's always uplifting for me to see uh, the enthusiasm and vitality of the students that uh, this university produces. Only a couple of weeks ago, I was interviewing six graduates from this university uh, from the design, uh, design and fashion course. My, the great shame was that I only had three opportunities for them because all six were absolutely fantastic. I'm not quite sure what this government is doing at the minute, but without a grant, I would not have been able to attend university at all. And I'm sure that uh, a lot of people, uh, prominent people today, would also not have been able to do that. And I can probably count Bob in, in that uh, as well. Uh, the university has currently set up a scheme that offers uh, less well-off students uh, uh, the ability to come to this university. And that's something that I'm very pleased to be able to support in the near future. And it's something perhaps we all ought to think about when we, we grow and uh, develop our careers and, and pay off your loans. I was in South Africa recently at a School for Entrepreneurs and I had lots of students very uh, interested in what I'd done and asking me lots of questions. Sometimes it's the most simple questions that cause you the greatest trouble. One guy after a while said to me, you got all this dough man, why do you want to go to work? And I thought, oh my God, he's got a point hasn't he? I was a bit stuck at the time, and uh, I thought about it for a little while, and it was one of those sort of soul-searching moments. And one of the reasons I, uh, I continue to develop my business is because I love to create things, and I, like, I love to create opportunities uh, for, for people, and people like yourselves. But it's a two-way street. I always get an enormous buzz uh, and inspiration from seeing you young folk, as it is now, graduating and just, just bringing this vitality into my business. It's a, it's, it's a really exciting experience for me, meeting all the graduates when, when the, we interview them. And we've got uh, probably about a dozen people from Huddersfield working with us currently who have been doing a fantastic job for me and for mis my businesses. It's been very kind of you to let me share in your graduation and, as your um, Chancellor would say, live long and prosper and thank you very much.